There we go. Look who we've got sitting down here on the ground. Should we have a, a, any guesses as to who you think this big male leopard is lying in the middle of the road? Very, very quickly, I'm sure all of you have already shouting uh, with excitement as to who this is. So hashtag Safari Live with who you think this big, beautiful male leopard is. He is full. He has got a belly on him, as you can see. Now, I do need to call this sighting in. So let me very quickly just call it on the Game Drive radio. Mobiles, I've got a male leopard uh, just off Rebecca's, quite close to Philemon's cut line. Uh, one unlock. Here we go. Just calling it in very quickly. But isn't this fantastic? Finally! And Megan? Megan's Megan's directing everybody. I don't know if, any, if uh, Jamie's actually said this is something else. It's just as exciting as seeing a male leopard while I wait for your responses as uh, to who this male leopard is or who you think is this male leopard is. And then we will tell you why it is a certain male leopard for all the new viewers. I'm just waiting for Megan to let me know if there are any answers. But it's exciting. Megan's learning to direct, which is wonderful. And I'm sure after the next few days, she'll be doing it all by herself, which is really what. Listen, listen. Here we go, giving a territorial call. Sorry, Megan, you didn't come through there. I just heard you say one or two words and then the comms cut off. Sarah, you're wondering if this is quarantine. Close but not quite quarantine just yet. Let me see if I can get a better position. What I want to do is I actually want to go just around the corner. So we can have a look. Hello, boy. Yes, it's been a while since we've seen you. It's going to go off the road slightly. A good guess, Sarah. Keep on guessing. I like to play these guessing games with all of you. James and Nina, you win the lucky prize again. Well done. This is indeed Tingana, our resident male leopard. So, Sarah, you had a very good guess there on, uh, on guessing quarantine. Now, the only problem is, and I should have told you exactly where we are, but we are still on Duma. So, quarantine's territory extends much further east on Cheetah Plains, and we'll see he pops into Nkoro every now and then. However, Tingana has got a massive territory. He lives on Juma, he also goes into Biffle's Hook, he goes to Torchwood, he goes to Little Gowrie, he goes to Simbambili, and all the different properties, and of course Arethusa too. And Chitwa, apparently he spends quite a bit of time uh, near the Chitwa Dam. But he looks massive this morning, because he has got a full, full belly. I'm not sure what he's eaten, but he definitely came from the south. So perhaps he made a kill of an impala or something along those lines and that's why he's been so scarce over the past couple of days is because he's been feeding his appetite but he looks massive and he is a beautiful beautiful cat look at him hello boy you're going to give us another good call because that would be really really wonderful if you could do that so he's coming through now he's eaten he's well fed you can see he's panting quite a bit not because it's hot because as most of you know when these big cats do gorge themselves with food is that it puts a lot of pressure on their diaphragm and on their lungs and all the organs inside so they can't take the biggest and deepest breaths like they normally do so they are only left with being able to take these short sharp breaths and that often makes it look like they are panting but I think he's on his way on, uh, on he's starting sorry uh, his territorial patrol that little half hearted call that he did and he does some impressive ones so that's why I say it was a half hearted call he'll need to do a bit louder and a bit longer if he wants any other leopards to hear so that he is around and in this area but now I'm just going to take a nap quickly <laughs> and I think he'll do that for most of the morning is he'll walk a little bit and he'll mark so he'll rub his, his cheeks up against branches he will also urine spray up against trees He'll vocalize, maybe sit down like he is now, have a little five minutes siesta, and then carry on with the day. I'm going to have to get quarry branches for us today, Brian. Mm. Mm. The flies are back. 